Hi everyone, Piperlands2 here, and welcome to today's video where we are going to be uh, going over how to create a flight plan, generate a flight plan for any commercial airliner, private jet, anything like that. Alright, so the first website we're going to visit is one called simbrief.com. Just go ahead and type that into Google, and it should come up uh, not with this, but it's going to come up, just imagine none of this is here. It's going to come up with these tabs. All you're going to do is go to Dispatch, My Flight Plan, just like this. Uh, I'll do it with you there. And then you go to New Flight. All right, so there you go. It goes to New Flight. Uh, we don't have an airline, private jet, no flight number. Obviously, private jet, we just use 004 Hotel Alpha. All right, so we're departing from Kira Kilo, Sierra Alpha November, which... As you know, it is Lindbergh International or San Diego International Airport. We're arriving at Kilo Lima Alcacera, which is um, the McCarran International Airport in Nevada, Las Vegas, Nevada. All right, our airframe is a Boeing 737-800, abbreviation 738. Okay, a departure runway is 27, arrival runway 19 left. Uh, okay, and then here is the most important part, our route. So we're Pebble 6 star, so that's Papa Echo Bravo Lima Echo 6, to the Sierra X-Ray Charlie uh, VOR, then to the Lima Alpha X-Ray VOR, then to the Daggett, which is Delta Alpha Golf VOR, and then to the, we're flying the Tepec 3 uh, star. I, I might have said this is a star, this is actually a SID, and this one's a star. So we're flying the Tepec 3 star on Trollway 19 left, um, that's Kilo, Echo, Papa, Echo, Charlie, 3. Alright. Uh, once again, Kilo, Echo, Papa, Echo, Charlie, 3. Alrighty, and then we can analyze it if you want. Alright, your route is Valve for 1602, which is the current ARAC cycle, which basically is the database for all the waypoints, all the SID stars, everything, so everything is on the same page, and it gives you the right route. If I was an Eric 1402, say, this might be Pebble 4 instead of Pebble 6, and that wouldn't be the real world procedure. What if this was on Eric 1402 and I was on Eric 1601? It would be totally different stuff, and it wouldn't match, um, wouldn't match the simulator or whatever. It, it comes in in real life as well, so... That's the first website, and it gives you your route, which you would enter into your flight management computer. Um, and then you're going to go to a website called fuelplanner.com. Uh, fuelplanner.com, that is. And you're going to select your aircraft. We're Boeing, Boeing, why I say Boeing? Boeing 737-800, uh, we're PMDG, so we're going to click on that one. And we're going from Sierra Alpha November to Lima Alpha Sierra. We're going to go Planner. And it's going to give us all of our weights. So reserves 6,515, which is going to give us an hour and 15 minutes of extra fuel uh, in case we need to hold or whatever. That's more than enough. So that's perfect. All right. Uh, so that we abbreviate that into decimal. So that's going to be 6.5. All right, fuel on board, 11,355 pounds. Uh, I would just round that up to uh, 1,200, just to be on the safe side. All right, and then you can go to your load sheet and get the zero fuel weight actual, which is 116.7. Uh, it looks like 116.6. You abbreviate this in the decimal too, but 7 to 6 makes seven, 6 round up to 7. All right, so our zero fuel is 116.7. And so see, it's going to give us all this time to empty, 2 hours and 10 minutes. It gives us all of your information here. It's a very helpful website and uh, pretty mandatory, actually. Um, you might have other uh, planning websites, but if you want something free, definitely check them out. Simbrief, Fuel Planner, uh, definitely what you need. Now, uh, not all, uh, you can't just pretty much get it and fly because you might be on a different air act cycle. Uh, than the sim brief, so it might be giving you something totally different, like I said before. Uh, but um, that's pretty much it. Hopefully, this tutorial was helpful. Uh, once again, sorry about the bad audio quality. I do not have a microphone except the built in one, which isn't very good. But um, hopefully, I'll be able to save up uh, to get a microphone. Um, and actually, one way you guys can help me save up is by on my videos clicking on ads that pop up, just clicking on those. It donates money. Uh, YouTube gives a small amount of money to my channel, so whatever money that gets uh, that YouTube sends to my channel, 
I can invest that back into my channel. So let's say I can buy a different microphone, games you guys want to see, games that you recommend. So it's uh, it's it would just be helpful if you guys could click on the ads. Just the when you double click on the picture ad, or you click on the little link in the bottom, or the ones that pop up midway through the video, click on those. That will donate a small amount of money. If you guys can do that, that would be absolutely amazing. And the best part is, it's absolutely free to donate. Just like click on the ads doesn't cost a penny. All right, so thanks guys for watching. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful, and I will see you guys later. All right, bye bye.